Hi, I'm Josh from Blaine, Minnesota, and you're watching Trucker Josh on YouTube. Hope you enjoy TJV Vlogs. all you fine people and terrible drivers how you doing today we are on our way home today so I've decided that since I have so much time to get to Alberta I actually have time to swing by home so I'm gonna get there late tonight I'll probably be home in about 10 hours or so uh, we'll see might be a little bit more but uh, we'll see how early we can get there and then I can spend most of the day at home tomorrow and then leave in the evening towards Alberta. I just need to get to like Brandon or something tomorrow yet. Which is about well, three or four hours down the road. So if I leave like around supper time, well I'll be good. So it's going to be a good day. I don't know if you knew this. Did you tell yourself it's going to be a good day today? Did you wake up, go look in the mirror and say, hey, today's going to be a good day? took my half hour break here at Walmart. What better place, right? This guy's fuel tank strap is busted. I should probably go tell him that as soon as he parks. His fuel tank's gonna fall off. I wish I would have been here yesterday. Apparently we had one big shelf cloud just roll through this region. One kilometer, keep to the right on I-29 North US 81 North. I think it hit North Dakota as well, but it sure hit our area. It's almost like a cloud burst, you might say. It was apparently like, what? What they have, like several inches of rain fell in just a couple of hours. The streets in Steinbach were so flooded there was actually footage of a couple of guys. Come on, Karen. I'm trying to tell a story here. It's funny. They're going to laugh. They're going to laugh. There was a, there's, there's a video of a couple of guys canoeing down the street in Steinbeck. <laughs> it's on Steinbeck online. So it looks like we're going to get another downfall again. I'm expecting to hear the usual uh, screeching that the world's coming to an end. But those are some really good rainfalls. So we are uh, in Fargo, North Dakota here now, just getting on to I-29. Uh, about two and a half, two and a half hours up to the border. Looks like that rain is all down here. I don't think it stretches up into Canada. On this road for 248 kilometers. Well, I'd say we're about 45 minutes from Canada. And it looks like there's another storm system, a little smaller than the last one. Sort of rolling in here. Looks like it's over southern Manitoba right now. I sort of live straight ahead off to the right. A little ways out that way. I live in southeast Manitoba, uh, above northwestern Minnesota, right in there. So we're facing straight north right now, uh, just on the eastern edge of North Dakota. Minnesota is just on the other side of the river over there, a couple of miles to our right. So going up here, and I heard that there might be another storm system coming in, but from what I heard, there was a lot of rain 
at our house the last couple of days. Tons of rain. Oh, these clouds are actually closer here than I thought. Oh, they're really low clouds. I thought they were higher up and further away. Okay, so we're actually hitting them now already. Guess we'll see what happens. Day. So we stopped by home for the night and for the next day. I gotta leave the next evening and continue on towards Alberta. But we got some heavy, heavy rainfall here while I was on this last trip. We got an insane amount of water. Just from these downspouts, you remember you can fold these down, right? And it goes to here. <laughs> We're gonna have to get something to put there so it doesn't erode our ground. Sort of like what we have at the end over here, right? Sort of like that, but it has to be movable, so we'll have to find some plastic one on Amazon or something. Yeah, we got a lot of rain. Go look, let's go look and see how high the creek is. It's been a really hot day today, again, too. Just piping hot. It was so weird because August was so cold, right? We thought that fall was coming early. Nope, summer's still around. <laughs> But look at how high our creek was. Do you remember how high it was in past videos? Remember we had this beaver dam over here? The beaver dam has been completely overrun with water. Look at this. Look at our creek. It's not a creek anymore, it's a river. Look at this. The beaver dam is under there. You can sort of see where the water sort of curling over it. Look how much water is in here. This is insane. Look at this over here. Look at this over here. It's washing away at the bank here. This collapsed just last night. We now have a river. <laughs> we got so much rain here recently. Our pond over here, this rose by about two or three feet as well. But eventually, I mean, Eventually, this creek is gonna eat away at this bank here, eat away at it, and it's going to connect with the creek, which I'm okay with, whatever. If that's what nature wants to do, that's what nature does. Then at least I don't have to worry about aerating this pond anymore. I can just, uh, like, the water from the creek will keep the water in here moving. It'll actually probably make it a lot healthier. But yeah, this is crazy. This has got to be, like, at least five, six feet deep now. Last year, at this time, this water was so low, I could walk across on the bottom. And the year before that, it was so low that uh, I could actually walk on dry land in parts of it. I love that sound though, the rushing water, eh? So I don't know what's gonna go on, go on here. If this does go through, we'll have to build a little bridge to get over to this side over here. This slide is, uh, it's busted. I gotta, I'm just gonna tear it down, burn all the wood and get rid of that plastic. It's all warped and uh, it'll hurt you more than anything if you use it. But. Crazy. Yeah, right, where is it? Right here. Right in there is where the beaver dam is somewhere. Completely gone. You know what that means though, right? The beavers are gonna be busy. Once this water goes down a little bit and stops rushing so fast, it's just look at all the water. It's just crashing against the bank right there, right? Just eroding it right out of there. I'm not gonna be able to, I'm gonna lose my little land bridge. Insane. 
but I like it. Like, I kind of wish it stayed at this level all the time. I wonder if we got fish in there. We could go fishing right in our own yard. No sign of the beavers, though. So anyways, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. Uh, the next vlog will be tomorrow. We'll be leaving around this time because I'm going to start that vlog pretty much right after this. So we'll be leaving in in the evening, so it'll be a pretty dark vlog, I guess, unless we continue it a bit the next day. I hate doing that, but sometimes you just got to do what I got to do to make a video for you, right? But What's going on over there? See, there's all these weird currents and stuff. I keep thinking that it's the beavers, but yeah, when we moved here, what, three years ago? This creek here was just an itty bitty little trickle going through here. Now we got a river, <laughs> full-fledged river. So thanks for watching today, everybody. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in tomorrow's video as we head towards Alberta. I will end this vlog with the soothing sounds of the rushing water on our property.